All right, because I've got the dialer, destination analyzer, matter booster, everything's set. And I've got the world built. Okay. Can dial. I need a chunk loader. Alright. Y'all want to come with me? Sure. You got to set into the regular portal system or I need to come to your base? Um. You can come to my base first if you want. I'm doing B thing, so no, sorry. No worries. Give me just a second. Doing my little desert hop. That means he's coming in through here. <laughs> it's just faster for me to go to the desert portal and fly, then go all the way to fountain and fly. Well, I've got a teleporter now in my base. Hold on, let me add y'all to the list. Alright, you're not going to completely destroy me and liquefy my remains, are you? No. L-E-G-R-E-C-N. I like that. I watch your character turn to stare at me just so you can read my name. <laughs> can you spell your name, Alaire? O B A K E T E N S H I. All right, y'all can actually come into my base now because they're this guy's set that way. And let me. Do the same for this one. All right. So this is dialed and here we go. It's flat. Yes, which is perfect. Except for these weird glass pyramids. Which is perfect. Let me get the teleporter set up proper. This is going to be fun building stuff out here. Giant towers of solar doom. Ooh, what's this? You have oil spurting everywhere. Yes, I did not know how to remove that. And some sort of control station. Hold on. Um... Alright. I can't remove it, but I can contain it. Hold on. I'm trying to... F I don't know what you're looking at yet. So Your oil... Your little oil guys are here. Oh yeah, they'll be all over. Like I said, I can't remove it, but I can, con right at the moment, I don't have the pumps and all that, but I can contain it for now. Alright, which way did you go? I see. Why would we need to contain it? Let's just set it on fire. Hey, there's beehives. Yep. What kind of beehives? Um, we have there's some modest. Yeah, there's two modest hives here real close. 
together. Neat. Yep. I think that's another one over here. Oh yeah, they'll be all over. Now here's the thing that I like that I did with this. I made it peaceful. Yep, no mobs here. Always daylight. And there's a town over here. With villagers, good. <laughs> Oh my god, you can't put these under trees? Nope, they have to have a clear view of the sky above them. Good lord. Interesting. So basically, there'll be a lot of villages, there'll be some mine shafts. There'll be some server crashes. Oh, oh, that was a server crash. That was a me crash. Yep, and it will always be noon here. So. Always the most solar generation there. Yep, that means once things get hot, they'll stay hot for a good long while. Ooh. You want flowers, bees? I'll plunk you right out in the middle of a lavender field. You sound like me the first time I tried to keep bees. <laughs> I'd get so frustrated. Why aren't you producing anything? Ah, found a suitable biome. I eventually decided that the pr proper biome for all my bees was a lava pit. <laughs> It was very gratifying. <laughs> so yeah, yesterday at work they had to, you know, bring your kids trick-or-treating, which Kristen didn't bring Lucas because uh, she's due to pop in January, so she's kind of finding it hard to struggle with a stroller, him and the baby for very long by herself. That makes sense. But anyhow, I counted nine Elsas yesterday. Oh, oh my god. Dude, you must have been hammered by the end of that. If only I could drink at work. Yep. So, pretty much, this will be my dimension here. Eventually, I'll move all my stuff over here for power generation. It'll just be, you know, Mimenth's Power Company. Donations accepted. Well, I mean, consider, I could build ev eventually a reactor that'll do a million RF a tick. That's enough to power your base and about six others. No, that's about enough to power about 20 or 30 of my bases. Maybe 40. Well, unless you have a base made entirely of AE. And by made entirely, I mean made entirely of AE. You know, I should probably put, uh... Those, uh, comb things in these, uh... Beehives. I didn't think of it before I left. Have to do it later, I guess. Yeah, putting the combs in helps them generate more honey and stuff. Right now I'm just trying to get the basic bees into habitats that they're compatible with. I already told you there's one habitat they're all compatible with. <laughs> Tell you what, you raise the bees, I'll worry about the chickens. 
Fair enough. And yes, I'm crazy enough to devote an entire floor of my base to chickens. You don't need to. I didn't know you could breed chickens. Yep, you feed them seeds, they may they get all hearty and talk to each other and poof, more eggs. I heard you catch your word there, because you knew I was still recording. The only problem with biome zooplenty is when you're working with the bees, that doesn't really tell you what basic biome it counts as. So it's a guessing game. Like, Lavender Fields apparently is not prairie, for example. Mm. Or plains. Bee delivery service. Are you putting bees in my bee delivery? Yep. Cool, thank you. Alright, so time to explore that more another day.